Hello everybody, Rusted Ground here, and uh, welcome back to uh, Divinity Original Sin. I'm joined by my friend Netstorm. Hi, Netstorm. Hello, and welcome back. Uh, so we're we're here in Sicil in uh, this uh, in the Crabs Inn. Is it called King Crabs Inn? Yeah. King Crabs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is where the the murder of Counselor Jake took place. And in the previous episode, we went ahead and talked to a few people. Um, and we kind of have a suspicious dude, the Duke of... What's his name? Feral, I think. Yeah, Duke of Feral. He, yeah, he was... Uh, yeah, he was uh, He was uh, involved with uh, Esmeralda, yeah. the, wife, the counselor's wife. Yeah, he had a, re- a relationship with her, exactly. <laughs> ben- yeah, and now, uh, now we're upstairs at the same uh, inn. Yeah. And uh, we were just talking to... What's her name? Uh, Sheriff. Sheriff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Who's a traveling merchant? And actually, just uh, discovered that I can buy some uh, lockpicks from her. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I have a skill in, uh, in lockpicking, so I guess I can try uh, using it. Okay. But I'll just buy one. I don't know. I think they're one-time use. Yeah, yeah. The, probably if there's multiple of the, multiple, uh, you can buy more than one. Then yeah, it's a one-time use for sure. Okay. And I think we have a locked door right at the end here. Maybe we should try to. Yeah, yeah. I'll just be right there. But I'm not sure why. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just buy one. Mm-hmm. And I think we just have to be sure nobody sees us. Yeah, probably. So I might try to provide a distraction for you. So let's okay. go. Okay. So where was it? Inside right here, here. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Go ahead. I'll try to keep these guys. I'll be on the watch here. Just let okay. to let you know. Go. 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 Whoop! There's this Praise guy coming. Praise be that Ahu the wizard I'm built those it. new fangled okay. weapons of his. So I seal would have long been overrun uh, by undead if it weren't for <laughs> them contraptions. Lock picking level too low. So okay. I, know, I guess I have to uh, find easier doors to. Pick. To pick lock, yeah, to lock pick. Um, I tried to keep this guy uh, to talk to that guy because he was coming. Um, whoop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, do you want to head for the basement or do you want to check this? Uh... If only the popular girls <laughs> You didn't see anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you <laughs> just talk, uh, took a souvenir. <laughs> exactly. What's it called? Uh, painting of a man. It. Oh my god. It's worth 706, man. Okay, okay. But let me oh. send it to you. Maybe you have, because you have the. Um, what's it called? Yeah, I can get a better, better price for it. Uh, just I... Go sell it to this woman. What's her okay. name? To the traveling merchant. Do you want to buy something? No, not really. Just sell it to her so we have money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it's not worth painting of a man? Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's worth 297. You must have two then. Two, two paintings? Two paintings, yeah. No, I just have one. And uh, it's worth like 300. What the hell? Could you give it back to me? Yeah. Uh, Let me just uh, end my conversation here. And send. Yeah, I sent it. What the hell? To me, it says it's. What the hell? Okay. Well, try selling it. See see what you can get for it. You are quickly becoming my favorite customer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It says 291 for me. Well, yeah, it's okay. I had uh, like six more <laughs> sold for it. So you, you can just sell it. <laughs> okay, then. So I'll, I'm going to sell it like that. And then let me see here. Decaying touch. I'm just... I just drain willpower. Low resistance. Oh, yeah. Maybe maybe we should uh, talk about the um, talents we, we entered. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, exactly, yeah, just give me a second here, so, let me, I'll take my leave, so, I took, I didn't spend my ability points, because we said we're gonna, we're gonna, um, let them, uh, get, uh, what's it called? Yeah, yeah, apparently you need uh, to get from level 1 to level 2 on a, on an ability, you need 
two ability points. Okay. And from level two to level three, you're going to need another three points. Okay. So we'll just yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll we'll just wait to get two points so we can uh, level up in one of the already um, used uh, abilities. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I only spent a point in the talents here, and I had I could choose from all of these talents, uh, and I'm talking now to. <laughs> the people watching, of course. So, and I chose Bully uh, because Bully boosts non magical attacks by 50% against opponents with slowed, crippled, or knocked down uh, effects. And I can knock down people with my uh, battering ram, so I thought Bully was a, yeah, was a good choice. <laughs> so, what, yeah. what did you take? Um, I took Arrow Recovery. It says it gives me a 33% uh, chance to recover a special arrow after shooting it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It seems that the uh, Beer Daughter has Arrow Recovery as a default, as an ability. Okay. She also has Bully, and she also has Stench, <laughs> which is Stench decreases everyone's attitude toward you by 25 <laughs> But melee opponents will find you less attractive in combat. I think that would be a good ability for you as well, because that way you won't get attacked by melee opponents. No, thank you. I'm not going to take stench. It's no, come okay. on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay, okay, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. We'll, we'll discuss it more. <laughs> Let, let's find another way in, in which uh, enemies don't attack me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, cool. So, let's go downstairs. Yeah. Because... We said we were going to go here, right? Why uh, isn't your is daughter... The... Wait a yeah. second. Just a second. <laughs> she's not connect, uh, connected to anyone. Yeah, yeah, she's not exactly. One second. Let me just drag her here. And then... Yep, that's it. Cool. Let's go. <sighs> Hello. Check this out. Oh, okay. And a big... Uh poison cloud here. You got some uh, rat friends. Yeah, let me just uh, find one. It's right it's here. Even... Nope. You go ahead. Here we go. This swill is disgusting. The folks in Hunter's Edge make the best whiskey in Rivalon. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Probably nothing useful. What do we have here? Empty bottles, minor well, healing potion. Let's take some food, maybe it'll help. Empty potion bottle, cooking pot. I think next time we're in, uh, yeah, we're in battle. We should try uh, using food, just to see what what it does and how it works. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So I I'll just take I, everything. I, I think <laughs> food just gives you some uh, knockdown arrows. Okay. Uh, I think food gives you. Like some uh, some buffs or something like that. I found a frost grenade. Nice. Be useful. I found some knockdown arrows. I am on the trail, source hunter. Some potatoes. Yeah, uh, send them to me, please. Or to uh, beer daughter. Yeah, I'll send beer them to her. Yeah. Do you see anything else uh, interesting? Unidentified shiny copper ring. Interesting. Yeah, it's uh, you need the uh, lore master or oh, what's it called? And uh, you found an identifying glass. If your lore master ability is high enough, you'll be able to identify items. Press right mouse button to, to on the unidentified items to select identify. Okay. But I also found. Some uh, elegant armor chest. Oh, but okay, never mind. Just give me a second here. Boom. I need to get used to this one. Um, yeah, it's better than mine. Whoa, it's better than mine. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, what level is it for? It is for level 5. Yeah, okay, got it. <laughs> well, you can probably use it, but you'll have a. I don't know. I. Penalty for yeah, penalty, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything else around here? Well, there's a chest here. Okay. Oh, it's locked. Let me see, do I have... Yeah, I have some more lockpicks. Let me try that. Only 
the popular girls from the Source Academy could see how edgy and nope. dangerous you've become. Work. Okay, I found some more lockpicks. That is weird. Well, I'm not sure how you. Uh, I mean, how do you know what level you need to be in lockpick yeah. to be able to open? Oh, or I'm just. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it like that. <laughs> Come on! Holy sh! This is a level five chest. It takes a while to break through. Uh, so probably, yeah, it probably would have been level one. I could have opened it. Maybe it said that on the door as well, what level it was. Okay. I wonder if um, if I destroy it, if it hap if it, if it, I destroy anything that is inside. No, I don't think so. But I I think you you damage your weapon as well and probably need repairing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well I'll do that okay. when we get out of here. Come on, three more swings and it should be open. Come on. There we go. 103 gold and an unidentified antique buckler, which is a oh. shield. Okay. Yeah, but we really need to find someone who can tell us what those things are. There's... Yeah. Oh, yeah, this one's open. There's an open chest here. I think we need something. to we need to grab Lore Master Man. I really think we do, and I think yeah, probably... I think I am going to pick up Lore Master to be honest in my um, in my skills. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna oh, go and you with... also have a magnifying glass. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna go with a lore master here, okay. and then I'm going to identify this. Boom, and this is a Terra Antique Buckler of Re Reflection for level five. And what else did I get? Did I get anything else? I have one that I need to send to you. Okay. There you go. There we go. Identify this. And this is a anointed old copper ring of the serpent, plus one intelligence, plus eight percent poison resistance, and it's a level three. Do you want it? Yeah, yeah, okay. I do have intelligence. So. Sentinel storm. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Okay. Well, that was useful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Now we need to get past this cloud. Well, uh, so there's a number of hidden mechanisms, so I guess we have to... Oh, actually there is something on the ground. Let me try putting something there. Ah, yeah, 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 you're right. But what should we put there? Like, um... A barrel of some sorts? Yeah, let me see if I can pick this up. Actually, I can't. Okay. I'm trying to do it myself as well. Apparently, I don't have strength, so. <laughs> Just give me a Not second. Enough strength. Here. Path is blocked. What do you mean, path is blocked? No, oh, wait, wait. Whoa, okay. that is interesting. Not sure why that happened, but. Can you use one of your. Do you have any arrows that can. Uh, like, water arrows? Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Maybe you should leave the uh, bear daughter here. I think you should. Uh, can you can you destroy the trap? I can see it. It's right there on oh, the floor. Oh, and no, I can't. I can just use it apparently. Yeah. You can't, can't attack di it. disarm it. Nope. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Boom. There okay. You go. Nice. But now you're poisoned. Yeah. Well, screw it. I'm okay. I think we should be fine like that. Jesus! What the? Okay. Let's just see what's in here before that. Okay. So there's still a trap there. Yeah, but I cannot see it. Oh. Cool. Okay. Never mind. This is locked too. Simple tavern cellar chest key. What is this now? Okay, try opening the chest over here. Which one? The one uh, here, next to the pillar. Nope, it's locked. And you can't use the key on it, or? 
can't find the key now. Key to Esmeralda's house. Ornate key. Simple tavern. No, it seems I cannot. Combine with... No, I cannot. Okay. Open it the hard way. I can. If you want me to. I think you can attack it as well. Attack. Yes, I can. See? There we go. Uh oh, what do we have here? Identified. It's another shield. Okay, apparently my if weapon needs. Needs repairing? Yeah. You got a message for it? Yeah. Um, try sending it to me. I have a repair um, hammer. I'm not sure how to use it. <laughs> okay, okay, let me just see here. Um, Sentinel Storm. There you go. Nice. Okay, object repair. And is it fully repaired? Yeah. Send it back. Awesome. Maybe I should do that for mine too. <laughs> <laughs> Use on this. What the hell, man? No. Why can't that work? Can you send it to me back to me, my sword, please? I oh, did. You did. I did. Okay. Okay. Shit. Object repaired. Okay. Okay, I, I saw the trap now. Okay, it's right at the entrance there. That's weird. So there's nothing else around in here. That is strange. Well, I think that was it. But I would have thought we would find something useful in the Basement. room here yeah, with the no. poison and everything. There's nothing more. Simple tavern cellar chest key. In chest key. Iron key. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, let's go back up then. Yeah. So. Nothing else around here. Are you sure you don't want to recruit... Uh, <laughs> what's her name? Medora. Uh, I think we're fine for now. Okay. Let's uh, keep looking around. Maybe we'll find somebody else uh, okay. willing to help us without... Uh, Asking something in return. Okay, so uh, Esmeralda's shop, tavern brawl. Can we? Should we visit? Uh, what's his name? The mayor of the town. What is this? Okay. Ah, uh, never mind. I think it was right here through these doors. Town hall. Okay. Let's go in here and have a chat with Mayor Cecil. Mayor Cecil, who is right there behind... Can you talk to the cat first? Uh, I don't see that. Oh, right in black front of cat. us. Yeah. Golly gosh, one of our... Fla one, one who flaunts the highways and byways of silly old Cecil with the easy elegance of a puss with her tail in the air. I do declare such a sight is rare, is rather rare around here. Yeah, this would be Maxine. The, <laughs> the cat, yeah. The cat who... <clears throat> Which uh, the other cat in the, in the tavern had a crash on. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But where are my manners? I am Maxine, and you must be one of those hunters one hears so much about. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> so, want to talk about the uh, unsinkable Sam? Oh, he's a darling old Tom, isn't he? Pours over tales in love with me, and... <laughs> Who can blame him? The feelings, well, it's rather mutual, actually. Oh, really? But that <laughs> pet of a puss simply doesn't have a penny to his name. I see, that's the okay. problem. At the risk of sounding as shallow as a spaniel, I can't but admit my love does not come unconditionally. What if we were to have kittens, he and I? They'd jolly well starve, wouldn't they? With an alley cat for a papa. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, dear Sam, he's such a good old bean. But he does rather reside at the bottom of the scratching pole, doesn't he? And dear me, one must have at least a mite of can you Can you please read what you're uh, going to ask her? Yeah, so let's see some further questions we can ask her. But yep. of course, darling. 
be my guest. So tell me about Saisio. Oh, this quaint little town is a tad too parochial for one of my more urbane tastes. But one has to make do, hasn't one? The fresh sea air does go to great lengths to invigorate one's spirit, that much I'll admit. And it is rather jolly to watch the ships sail in, laden with all kinds of exotic wares, full of the little treats the mayor likes to spoil me with. Darling man, he dotes on me so. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I don't think we'll get anything else. Yeah, me neither. Uh, let's change the subject and... Well, we can go, right? Yeah, yeah. And we'll talk to... We'll okay, talk so to the mayor. Wanna talk to the mayor? Yep, yeah. let's do this. What? Oh, it's you! Come closer then. Closer, huh? My ears aren't what they used to be. Nor my eyes, for that matter. Yes, hello, Source Hunter. Our city welcomes you. Tell me about yourself, uh, Cecil. My elf? What elf? <laughs> Yourself, man. Oh, myself. I am Cecil, mayor of Cecil, and Cecil, husband okay. of the stately Cecilia. <laughs> I've been the mayor here for decades, and I'm quite eager to see Cecil through these difficult times. Yes, very difficult times indeed. So Cecil, the mayor of Cecil, and husband of the stately Cecilia. Interesting. Sure. Um, tell me about the issues in Cecil. What? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you mean Cecil? Very difficult times indeed. As though the death of Jake and by source magic no less weren't enough. We're also facing all sorts of brutish intruders. The young dead have overrun all but one northern trade route, while the orcs are making a habit of savaging our beaches. That's not to mention that at the top of this whole caboodle, there's rumors of some new religious sect or cult or some uh -oh. such sticking its tendrils into the innocent, seven-fearing folks of Saisu. Yeah, we heard about that. Nice, okay. And, uh, <clears throat> while we're on the subject of troubles, I myself have a private matter I'd like to bring to your attention. Of course you do. It involves a magic relic I rather foolishly sought. A weapon called the Staff of Pergamon. Uh, okay, let's continue on this path then. What's this about the Staff of Pergamon? The what of what now? <laughs> oh, you're speaking gibberish. <laughs> ah, you mean the Staff of Pergamon. Yes, yes. I was expecting a shipment of weapons, and among the cargo was this very powerful, very rare staff. I managed to place the order through means somewhat. Atypical to a government official. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so you smuggled it in. Cecil proved an old fool, though. For the merchant slated to deliver it to me has just informed me that the damn thing has gone missing. I fear it may have fallen into the wrong hands. And I wonder if you could retrieve it for me. Okay, who is this merchant? His name is Conrad, captain of the Tide Splitter. A merchant ship still docked at the Sicil Harbor. You can talk to him if you think it'd help, but I'd quite like to avoid getting the Legion involved, if you don't mind. Okay, what do you know about the staff it itself? The staff itself contains a shard of an ore, highly valued for its use in the weapons of war. I know use of the material to be forbidden, but I was desperate to do something to aid the townsfolk against the undead. Okay, uh, let's uh, move on to Jake's murder. Yeah, Jake see. murdered? Oh yes, yes. Now I recall. Indeed. <laughs> oh Jesus! I could hardly believe it myself. The council and I have certainly had our differences over the years, but old squabbles evaporate under such circumstances. Most of the townsfolk are certain Jake's wife Esmeralda is responsible. In fact, the Legion have taken her into protective custody to keep her safe from the mob. Yeah, oh, really. As you can imagine, I've known Esmeralda for years. That business between her and the Duke of Ferrell was always a bit... Um, suggestive. <laughs> suggestive. But I've never had cause to suspect her of violence. Still, one never knows for sure. Um, okay, tell me about the Duke. An alright bloke, apart from all this Esmeralda nonsense. The whole town knows the only goal of his business trips to Sicil is to spend a night or two at the King Crab Inn with Mrs. Counselor. Okay. Um, can we go? Maybe we should. Uh, 
maybe we should ask about those sects. What? Yeah, uh, yeah, what does exactly. You know that's, about them? that's exactly what I was uh, thinking. Well, I, I do believe that something your parents ought to have discussed with you long ago, Source Hunter. But I suppose if, if you really don't know, <laughs> I he would doesn't miss if I <laughs> okay. didn't at least explain. He's thinking about something yeah, else. He's giving us the the talk. Okay, okay. <laughs> ah, you see. When a lady and a fellow find each other rather nice, <laughs> well, rather more than nice, they occasionally, <clears throat> well, they... They? Uh, Come on, spit it out. Oh, this is nonsense. <laughs> I'm the mayor, for the seventh sake. I can't be bothered to chat all day about the birds and the bees <laughs> when Sysil's under siege by orcs. Uh, okay. Oh, artists. man. <laughs> okay, really tell helpful. me more about the undead. What? The undead? Yes, for the past two years, those blasted skeletons have all but suffocated this city. With all but one trade route overrun, Sysil's once torrential commerce has slowed to a pathetic trickle. Uh, can you tell me more about your library? What? That's weird. Um, should we go with I've joined the Fabulous Five or, or, or ask him about the library? Uh, ask about the library. I don't know why, why we have that, but maybe you can find something else okay. about it. That depends. What kind of berries are you interested in? What? Exactly. <laughs> library. Ah, yeah, yeah. Library. Yes, yes. You must have a visit. <laughs> it's the gem of Sysil. Would you like to have a look? I'll escort you upstairs myself. Oh, yeah, sure. It, sound inter it sounds interesting. Follow me then. Okay, let's go. Must be something there. <laughs> uh, okay. This library is the jewel. Okay, waiting for the other player. Oh, apparently I can talk to him now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My Victoria has every volume you could possibly imagine, and she's got every speck of information about this place packed into her brilliant brain. Yes. Victoria's come a long way from that little bundle of claws and teeth I adopted so long ago. Ah, it brings a tear to my eye just seeing her here among you her beloved... Do you see Victoria? No, who's Victoria? It, she's an orc, I can see her. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, yes, yes. I'll be on my way back downstairs now. Please introduce yourself. I know Victoria will be happy to make your acquaintance. This is weird. Okay. okay. Check this out. Come over here. Volume one, volume two. Here we go. Here's Victoria. Where's the third one go? <laughs> In the name of Amun Hur, I bid thee Tujda get a hal. Be welcome, human. My library is yours, as I hope your friendship is mine. I I, I guess she's an orc, right? Most of Maybe she'll tell us. Uh, who are you, madam? I am Victoria, daughter of Mayor Cecil. What? Oh, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> the likeness isn't exactly striking, is no, it? No, it isn't. You have some horns and a tail. <laughs> when I was very young, you see, I must have been cast out by my tribe, for I was found in a wicker basket floating past Sicile toward the sea. Oh, okay, you're Thrall's sister. I got it. Most promising. <laughs> <laughs> the fisherman who found me would have drowned me on the spot, for I am an orc after all. Uh huh. But praise be Amon Hor. Yeah, you're right. Dear Cecil was among the gathered crowd, and he took pity on the exiled infant the chance had put in his way. He raised me like I was his own. This kindest of souls taught me the language of men, their customs, and their letters. Thus, I became the city's librarian, a position I uphold with no small diligence and pride. I yeah, that that didn't really end well for Thrall's. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Adopting father. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but I wonder how the Legion, what the Legion thinks about this. And now that she's here, could she be the reason why the orcs, why are, orcs attacking? are here? Yeah. yeah, could be. May I take books from the library? Indeed you may. The wisdom I here hold is yours to peruse and even take with you. Really? All I can ask is that you return the books you borrow so that others may enjoy them too. How about the paintings? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let, let's see. What do we have here? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just looking through the books no. here. 
This isn't the grimoire I'm looking for. Uh, Can we talk this guy to is talking to himself? Yeah, exactly. Encyclopedia Jahan Omnis Altamali Demonis Quum. Uh, hello. <laughs> okay. Is this buttercup with the what? blushing? What is this? Who are you to interrupt my musings? By Naga the Protector, they have the manners of boors, these boatmen of Sicil. <laughs> oh, but perhaps I spoke too soon. Perhaps yeah, maybe. I was mistaken. For you hardly resemble the local fisher folk, which, incidentally, is a compliment of copious dimensions indeed. <laughs> really, is it? No. A source hunter, that is what you are. Yes, a stalker of sorcery, a chaser of charms pernicious. In truth, I cannot go so far as to say it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, for I take no pleasure in the company of man. But it may just be to our mutual advantage to join forces nonetheless. Yeah. Why? He really likes wars, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would you want to join forces? Why? Simply because you hunt source, and I, Jehan, hunt demons. Jehan! You are aware, of course, that quite often both of these pests frequent the same shadowy pools of infamy. He might be useful, man. Let's uh, yeah. continue here. Now, I hate what I hunt, but I respect its cunning. Should I not, I'd have been decimated body and soul long since. This is a sentiment I'm quite certain you must recognize. Let there be strength in cunning, yes. But also in numbers. The calculus of wizardry I offer you. The might of the magician's mastermind. Hmm. On one Intriguing. condition. That on our joint travels we will never deal with demonic entities. No matter how tempting their <laughs> propositions. Give me your word on this. Um. And I'll weave you spells. Okay, fingers crossed that he... Okay, I don't know. What do we do, man? Um, well, yeah, sounds tempting. We could use a well, wizard okay, spell weaver with us. Okay, let's let's promise him then, and we'll see what this leads to, right? <laughs> so, yeah. very well, there will be no deal with demons. Very well, there will be no deals with demons. Agreed. Nothing good ever came from bargaining with those devils anyway. <laughs> okay. It's your oh, uh, still me. most yeah. gratifying. I see you are firm of purpose and thereby ready to descend. Descend into the madness that is sorcery, into the depths where demons dance. Gladly shall I follow you into the abyss. Onward, blood and triumph await. Okay, so I have a hint here saying split the party by dragging their portraits away from one another, breaking the chain that connects them. Create groups in your party by dragging those portraits together. Yeah, we already knew that. Uh, let's go with end the conversation here, and then I'm going to drag him to you. Or not. Can you drag him yeah. to you? No. I don't think so. What the hell, then? I think it's the same problem we had with... Uh... Bear daughter, I don't think I can have a but companion. No, you. But you should have a. What the hell? This is okay. weird, man. I will look into it. Yeah, we'll look into it. Uh, okay. Maybe I can do it before you join the game. Yeah, that could probably work. Whoa, this guy has a lot of abilities, man. So he has teleportation. He has staff of the tempest. Launch a magical missile from your staff that deals 23 to 44 water damage. He has shocking touch, whatever. Bitter cold, with free, which freezes a target. He has rain, which creates water surfaces. He has regeneration, which heals 36 violet vitality on a target for three turns. And he has, he has blitz bolt. Shoot a bolt of electricity that deals 26 to 28 air damage. Jesus, that's a lot. Okay. And uh, what uh, weapon does he use? And he uses a staff, a two-handed staff. It's called uh, Jayhan's quarter staff. <laughs> okay, I have a one-handed wand. I don't know. It probably is not better than what he has. I don't see but him. I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's keep it for now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
so there's some books here. Anything? Adventures Field Guide. Hello. The Adventures Field Guide volume. What volume? Uh, let me see. That would be 16. Whoa, I have volume 5 here. Is this a collectible like? Who placed this book here? A volume of poetry among novels. Let me see oh, here. Mayhem. So oh, you learned something? The Adventurer's Field Guide. Now I'm not a lumberjack, but I can get a good strong stick out of any log with my thrust trusty axe whenever I'm in need of one. <laughs> some weird geezers have been asking for the wood chips on the floor after I've chopped up some logs and I just let them. Um, I have no yeah. idea what to do with those. We Yeah, we learned a new recipe. Yeah, okay, guess, for okay. For crafting, for wood chips. Homemade robe. Nice. Superior leather armor. That's good. Will have to pay yet wow, that we, we really need to look into that, man. Um, okay. Uh, yes, yeah, says making your own clothes couldn't be easier, and who knows your fit and style better than you. Just take some scraps of cloth or leather and get to work with a needle and thread. If you're the magic type, you've probably already heard how wizards enchant their needles with magic dust, but I say that stuff's for fops and priests. Yeah, so I guess. We'll need cloth, scraps of cloth and leather, and a needle and thread. Okay, let me see here. Something. I found some more books. Let's go with Cracking Up a Crowd, the Definitive Guide. Much like making... Whoa, how many pages is this? I didn't get any recipe for that. Okay. Volume 1, Volume 2. Where has the third one gone? Ah, I think she's looking for the books there. Let me just... The ones we took? Yeah, yeah. Fun with the fluids. If you've ever tried consuming a guipina mushroom, you know full well what manner of effect it will have. Most Rivalonian mushrooms have some sort of effect on the human body and their essence can be squeezed into potions to enhance their effects. Combining mushroom-based potions has similar effects. Yeah, we learned the fire, fire resistance. resistance. Nice, okay. Cut it out. Whoa, whoa, easy. Don't steal yep, stuff. Sorry. Well, I was looking at the desk. I didn't want to take anything. Okay, uh, another adventurer's field guide. Some smiths haven't the faintest idea how to mold the f a fine metal shield. After I buy one, my first order of business is to find the nearest anvil and hammer the kinks out of it. The shield, I mean, not the anvil. And we learned improved metal shield. That is awesome. Can we give... Like, like, just give me a second here. Can we give her the books? Let me see. I don't think you can trade with her. Yes, you can. Yeah? Yes, you can. Okay. Forgotten language. What the hell? But I don't think... Yeah, it doesn't seem like you can identify... No. It doesn't seem like I can give her the books, but what if... Let me just see here. What if I can return the book? No. Oh, I can only read, drop... I think I can drop the item now, right? Because I don't need it anymore. Well, you can put it back in one of the... Okay. Yeah, you can probably drop it, but you can also put it back on a shelf. Place this book here. Oh, okay. Let me see here. Oh, I found... Did you read these? No, I just took them, okay. Found something else. One second, one second. Yeah, go ahead. It's fun with fluids part four. Poison resistance potion, apparently. Okay. okay, one second. Let me read something here as well. Uh, making your own clothes. Oh, you already read that one, I think. Yeah, yeah I put it. I just put it back. Okay. Yeah, well, I guess this is it. Yeah, I'm just going to put all the books back here. And I think I'm going to actually put all of them, because I have some other books as well. I'm just going to put them here. What else do I have? Traveler's Journal. Brief history of sorcery still hasn't been returned. Okay. Thelaron will have to pay yet another fine. 
What else can we take? Okay. Philosophy of Death. There's a bunch of books that we can take, actually. Volume 1, Volume 2. But where has the third one gone? The Philosophy of Death. What is this? Sometimes now? I think these books sprout little legs in the night. Did we learn anything? No, we didn't. Um, should we talk to Charlene? Over I think here, we please? should. Yeah, yeah, I saw oh, her. I, I wanted to talk to her as well. Okay, let's talk to her. Charlene. Boom. A sauce hunter. Oh, what a sight for sauce, I see and eyes. Tell me about yourself. Me? I, I live alone here in town. It used to be that my younger brother Tom and I were practically joined at the hip, but that's all changed now. What happened to your younger brother? Oh, he's always been something of a rascal. Calling his petty hooliganism adventuring and endlessly worrying my poor mind. Oh, but of course, I've always loved that scamp to bits. <laughs> For my part, I encouraged him to join the Legion. Okay. Even got him sparring with Captain Orius now and then. But then those blasted Fabulous Five uh -oh. came into town. <laughs> Trouble. That band of... Oh, I don't even know what to call Salesman. them. Salesmen. Well, there is heroes, <laughs> and I simply couldn't prevent him from going to see them. That one meeting was all it took for Tom to run off with them on some mission to God knows where. Oh, shit. Okay, that was it. Interesting. So yeah, we'll, good to know. we'll need to find her, um, her brother, I think. Uh, I think it's time to, to cut this episode, um, because, uh, yeah, it's been quite a long one. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so we'll, we'll cut it here. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see how we can uh, we can split the the party here, so you get to control yeah. one of the. I'll take the mage. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't worry about it. I'll <laughs> give you the mage. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we just need to look into that. And I think I think we should also look into getting some more books from here. Uh, offline and just learning some more recipes. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Okie dokie. Well, everybody, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the episode. If you did, please give a like. If you didn't, give a dislike to the video. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Let's storm anything you'd like to say to yeah. everyone. Thanks, and see you next time. Okay, guys, see you next time. Bye-bye.